Hey guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming the very first video for 2019 and I thought I'd make it a really fun one. So I'm going to be sorting myself again in the Pottermore website to find out what Hogwarts house I belong in. But I'm really nervous. I've always wanted to do it and I haven't done it on camera because what if I get the wrong house? Or not the wrong house, but not the house that I've already claimed and that is Hufflepuff. That is the house I got when Pottermore redid the website and they got rid of the interactive website where you could play through the story. When they first came out in 2012, I was actually sorted into Slytherin, which I was not happy about, honestly. I just didn't feel it. I was devastated. I only bought one mug that had Slytherin on it and that was it. I didn't continue with that. And I was so excited when I got resorted into Hufflepuff and that has been my story ever since. So we are seven years later and I am a different person. And honestly, I think that I took that test with my fantasy self in my brain and not my real self. You know, when you answer questions and answer them in a way that doesn't really represent you as you would actually act, but what you think you should do. So that's what I think I did. And that is why I'm going to retake it. So I've created an entire new account and let's get started with the sorting. Time to join your Hogwarts house. I'm nervous. Dawn or dusk? I'm going to say dusk because I'm a night owl. You and two friends need to cross a bridge guarded by a river troll who insists on fighting one of you before he will let all of you pass. Do you? One, attempt to confuse a troll into letting all three of you pass without fighting. Suggest drawing lots to decide which of you will fight. Suggest all three of you should fight without telling the troll. I honestly hate these questions that are really complicated. I'm all about fairness, so I'm going to go with the first one, drawing lots to decide. Which of the following would you most hate people to call you? Ordinary, ignorant, cowardly, or selfish? I'm going to go with ordinary. All right, if you're attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? So there are a bunch of cats. I know there are owls. I'm going to go with a tabby cat because my older cat Kiyomi is a tabby. Which of the following would you most like to study? Centaurs. Oh, crap. All right, I messed up. I picked centaurs. Can I even go back? Oh no. All right, I have to redo this because I messed it up. So I just redid it and now it's completely different. So I chose Dusk. Which of the following would you find most difficult to deal with? Hunger, cold, loneliness, boredom, or being ignored? I can fast so I can deal with hunger. I'd rather be cold than hot. Don't mind being lonely. I'm a busybody, so I'm going to choose boredom. Given the choice, would you rather invent a potion that would guarantee you love, glory, wisdom, or power? Not power, because that scares me, <laughs> honestly. I'm going to go with wisdom because I like to know things. One of your housemates has cheated in a Hogwarts exam by using a self-spelling quill. Now he has come top of his class in charms, beating you in second place. Professor Flitwick is suspicious of what happened. He draws you to one side after his lesson and asks you whether or not your classmate used forbidden quill. What do you do? Lie and say you don't know, but hope that someone else tells Professor Flitwick the truth. Tell Professor Flitwick that you ought to ask your classmate. Tell Professor Flitwick the truth. If your classmate is prepared to win by cheating, he deserves to be found out. Also, you are both in the same house. Any points he loses will be regained by you for coming first. Okay, jeez. You would not wait to be asked to tell Professor Flitwick the truth. If you knew that somebody was using a forbidden quill, you would tell the teacher before the exam started. Oh my god, definitely not that one. <laughs> okay. I hate this question. I'm going to go with telling the truth because I am really into fairness. All right, if you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? I'm going with Tabby Cat. Which of the following would you most like to study? Centaurs, goblins, mer people, ghosts, vampires, werewolves, or trolls? I'm going to go with mer people because they live in a completely different place. Four goblets are placed before you, which would you choose to drink? The foaming, frothing, silvery liquid that sparkles as though containing ground diamonds, the smooth, thick, rich purple drink that gives off a delicious smell of chocolate and plums, the golden liquid so bright that it hurts the eye and which makes sunspots dance all around the room, or the mysterious black liquid that gleams like ink and gives off fumes and make you see strange visions. I'm going to go with the plums because I love delicious things. 
and I love sweet things. Heads or tails? I think I'd go with heads because there's a face, you know? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> I'm so happy! I got Hufflepuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so I am still in Hufflepuff. Oh my god. All right, so this is great because I was scared I wouldn't get into Hufflepuff, but now I know it really is meant to be. I did actually take the BuzzFeed quiz and I got a percentage of what I was or what of each house I am, and I got 33% Gryffindor, 27% Hufflepuff, 22 Ravenclaw, and 18 Slytherin. So I'm pretty happy with those results. Gryffindor or Hufflepuff, happy with. Ravenclaw is cool too, but oh my goodness. This is great because now I know. Now I know. Okay, so that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I am so happy. I had so much fun taking it on camera finally. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. And I hope you're having a magical day. I will see you in the next video. Bye.